Although the universe is vast and can extend infinitely, there are boundaries and inaccessible places that we cannot reach, even if we travel at the speed of light. This is why the detection of a traveling signal from the edges of the universe by the James Webb Telescope is of great importance. Recently, after the first images from the telescope were released, researchers have presented stunning images of spiral galaxies. Today, we will talk about the incredible discovery by the James Webb Telescope at the edge of the universe. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, share it so it reaches more people, and activate the notification bell. New images captured by the James Webb Telescope are helping to understand some of the most fascinating questions we have about our universe. These images include giant planets, stars in the late stages of life, violently colliding galaxies, and ultra-diffuse galaxies. One of the most remarkable images captured by the telescope is of a massive thrilling spiral galaxy that is enveloped in purple-colored cosmic dust. These stunning images are opening up new discussions and debates about what is going on in the vast and infinite universe. According to the US space agency, NGC 628 is the name of a distant galaxy recently captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Gabriel, an astronomer at the Cosmic Down Center at the Niels Bohr Institute at the University of Copenhagen, has shared the image on Twitter and commented that this galaxy, seen as a dusty skeleton, resembles our own Milky Way. Individual star nodes and supernovae can be seen shooting out, which can be studied in detail. NASA has confirmed that the spiral arms of NGC 628 have been photographed previously. But Hubble Space Telescope images in visible light do not show the same purple spiral structure seen in the mid-infrared image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Dr. Brammer explained that the same galaxies seen through the Hubble Space Telescope or ground-based telescope do not show the same impressive view that can be seen through the James Webb Telescope. Through the latter, one can see blue stars, red stars, spiral arms, and dust lanes. He explained that the dusk streaks, which are reddish blonde filaments in the spiral arms, tend to obstruct the view of stars in the visible images captured by the web. However, in this case, we can see the light emitting dust directly. Instead of seeing stars, you can see an image of the gas and dust in the galaxy NG628, photographed by Webb earlier this year and stored in the Matt's Public Space Image Library, which anyone can access. The King's Webb Space Telescope has not been idle since NASA released the first five color images. It has been constantly capturing new images and uploading them to the Max archive for astronomers to access. According to Dr. Brown, the telescope has captured something truly spectacular, a galactic whirlwind at the edge of the universe that is incredibly beautiful, but also haunting. In addition to this stunning image, the telescope has provided compelling evidence that the universe is full of amazing phenomena and objects. For example, it has discovered that a star in the galactic swirl is surrounded by concentric rings of light that emit radiation outward. Although Webb's diffraction peaks are not real, the rings are, and there is a disturbing explanation for how they formed. The star that has been observed with the James Webb's MIRI telescope is actually a binary pair of rare stars in the constellation Sagittarius. These two stars experience periodic eruptions of dust that accumulate in layers and glow in the infrared, which has allowed the NIRI to observe them in detail. They are a binary system called Coalition Wind, consisting of a hot, massive O-type star and a massive wolf star. NASA scientists are concerned about the discovery of this unusual object and the obvious connection between these wolf ragged stars, which are massive stars in the advanced stages of their lives and losing mass at an accelerating rate due to the nuclear fusion of heavier elements such as helium or carbon. They are very hot, very bright, and old due to their massiveness, which means that their lifetime is short. The two stars in the War 140 system have powerful stellar winds blowing at a speed of about 3,000 km per second, causing them to lose mass rapidly. The elliptical shape of the object's orbit adds to the fear, 
as it indicates that the star describes ovals rather than perfect circles. When the stars get close enough at the periastro point, which is one third larger than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, they may collide. This collision causes the acceleration of particles and the creation of energy radiation such as X-rays. The interaction of stellar winds also causes the formation of dust puffs, which are partial dust layers that expand and cool, observed at infrared wavelengths by the Neri Webb instrument. This dust is a type of carbon that absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the two stars and is heated by the stellar wind before being expelled. In other words, the Webb images show a concentration of denser material in the form of bubbles at the edge of a dusty layer which is more visible due to the perspective and the 7.94 year orbit period of the binary system. The combination of wind and dust production produces airborne particles that allows the H and outermost visible layer to be determined. Rings can be seen in the nebula surrounding the binary, similar to three rings, and about 20 rings are visible, which means that about 160 years of dust layers can be seen. The most recent war 140 Petriastro was discovered in 2016 by a group at the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Institute of Space and Astronautical Science, led by astrophysicist Ryan Lowe, so expect to learn more about it in the future. The concept of the edge of the observable universe is an intriguing notion within cosmology. The branch of science that studies the origin, evolution, and structure of the universe as a whole. Although the exact details may vary according to the latest cosmological theories and models, there are certain fundamental ideas that apply to this concept. The observable universe refers to the region of the cosmos from which light has had sufficient time to reach us since the beginning of the universe. Since the speed of light is finite, the portion of the universe that we can observe is limited by the distance that light has been able to travel since the Big Bang the event that is believed to have marked the beginning of the universe as we know it. This means that there are regions beyond our observable sphere that we have not been able to detect because the light they emitted has not yet had time to reach us. There are several fascinating insights related to the observable reaches of the universe. Particle Horizon Due to the expansion of the universe, there is a limit beyond which particles and galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. This creates a horizon beyond which we cannot receive any information, since light or any other signal cannot reach us from some time. Age of the Universe The age of the observable universe is related to the maximum distance we can see. The farther we look in space, the further back in time we go, since light from those distant regions has had to travel for miles of millions of years to reach us. Topology and Shape of the Universe The overall size and shape of the universe is subject to debate. Some theories suggest that the universe may be finite, but have no clear edges or boundaries. This implies that, in theory, we can look in one direction and see the same point in space from an opposite direction. Multiverses and Other Theories Some cosmological theories such as cosmic inflation and related ideas of multiverses, suggest the possibility that the observable universe is just one part of a larger set of universes or dimensions, which adds even more complexity to the concept of boundaries. And well, we will be on the lookout for new information about it to keep you informed. Thank you very much for watching the video, remember to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.